Hello, and welcome back to the channel. We're out at CCT. The tire saga continues. We ran into some issues. Andy hooked me up, got the tires here, and then we ran into an issue with his tire machine. So then I'm gonna come here, pick them up today, but then he forgot. The tires are here, stored in Chase's garage, which is Andy's garage, but you guys get it. They had to report this concrete slab for the whole front portion of the garage. So this stuff just got reported yesterday. And then we didn't know if we were gonna have access to go get the tires, but we're good to go. We're gonna be able to get the tires. I'm going to the JP shop to get them installed because like we said earlier, his tire machine's missing a part and we don't want to damage the wheels. What's up, Kit? What up, man? What are you doing, buddy? You know, working. Living his best life. Living your best life? Yeah, living my best life working, man. You never seen this one. I fell off. You never seen the rebel? No. Oh. She's a beaut, isn't she? Yeah, she was pretty. Your tires are in there, man. I know, we're coming to get them. They're biggins. They are? Yeah, they're, they're in there. They're biggins and they're nice. Nice. Yeah, we went with Nitto, the Nitto 555 G2. We went with 275 on the rear and the stock size on the front. So, a little wider in the rear, normal size on the front. We can step on it now? Step on it. Oh, sweet. Help. You here, puppy. I told him not to put a car on it. Ah, oh, there we are. There we are, guys. Woo! Got me? We got me! Oh, yeah. Kit, Kit told me to. Socks only, take your shoes off. I walked the plank. Oh, you walked the plank? I, I, well, I did it the first time. Kit told me I could walk across. <laughs> so here's our 275, guys. You see, it's a little bit wider than the 245s. These will be going on the front. These will be going on the rear. What do you think, Miss Head? They're tires. Oh, my God. You're supposed to be excited. Bob, take it away. Yes. <laughs> How's it going, Hetty? No, what are you doing? I'm watching you work. We're out at the JP shop. We got the meat here. Before we install these new tires onto Gaston, I think we need to do something. I think we need to burn some aggravation. If Gabe will let us. Gabe's busy. It's Friday. Gabe's by himself. Tracy's the only one in the garage. Gabe gives us the green light. We are we are burning some burning some meat off the old tires. You should let me. Maybe, yeah. It would maybe be a, a perfect opportunity. opportunity. Yeah, yeah. Have you do a line lock? I thought that we had you do one before. No. No? Okay. Never. I don't right. even know what it is. This wide on our roads out here, um, when you're driving, there's a crown in the road. So your car will physically just be in the crown the whole time and it drags you throughout the whole road. And then when you have a skinnier tire in the front, it actually is easier to cut through the crown instead of getting stuck in it. Crown. Sounds like the, be the bell needs Two cutting. new tires in the front. No. And you can't just buy two, no, you so you gotta get you don't, more. You don't stagger truck tires. You don't stagger do that. car wheels. Yeah. <laughs> I <laughs> could start something new. Yeah, it crash too. It looks silly. <laughs> I've got 285s on the wagon at the moment. No, I don't think they're gonna fit. I mean, honestly, I think it's kind of, if you went with a wider wheel, like a 20 by 10, then it would make sense to go up to like a 305. But safely, 275s are the largest that you can fit on a 20. Well, you can fit larger tire, but it's not gonna do, it's not gonna make a difference because the wheel's not wide, it's not gonna expand the tire. But it's gonna look really good. You're so silly. Look at, look at Mrs. Beast projects. She's in the shop the hat. today. You haven't got new hats yet. Yeah, I know. And I like yeah. this hat. Well, we're still Ram Beast, It's too. my Jeep hat. We're still Ram Beast. Because I have a Ram. Yeah. We, yeah, you have a Ram. I have a Ram. You have the only Ram in the fleet. And we just got full tuning and a lot PCM from Edge Products. Video coming soon, guys. It's finally going to happen. And then we're going to put that, we're going to put that Rebel back on the dyno and see what she does. You want these in the wrong direction, right? Why would we want them in the wrong direction? Tracy? Why not? No, because that's backwards. We're not going backwards. We're going fast forward. Fast forward. 
Does that mean if you would have white lettering on the inside that that would go on the inside? Does that yeah, that Do I have permission to let out and release and burn some of my aggravation with these tires? Come on, I'll call John and get permission. I just talked to him this morning. I didn't see any. <laughs> Well guys, that was uh, pretty pathetic. I don't know what was going on with the line lock and then I was gonna go put it, not even use line lock at all and just go old school, turn off traction control and put your foot down on the brake, but the boss man said enough. Enough was enough. But we got, we burned a little bit of rubber off. A little bit ahead. That line lock was not working though. It's different being here at the JP shop without a truck, but I mean, Tracy, you and your dad can relate. You guys have BMWs, like <laughs> rare BMWs. Yeah, that's, rare. that's true. This is a rare sighting of these projects working because the missus gets the video. Oh. You All don't right, do any of your mods. <laughs> yeah, you don't do any of your mods. Why do you have everyone else work on your stuff? I actually do work on my stuff. It's just, I wouldn't be able to bring you some awesome content if I was working, because someone needs to hold the camera. That's me. Just today. You see, actually mentioned a good thing because these sensors, I mean, they might be wheel specific. We're marking which tire is where when we swap out to the new tires. Left rear. I approve. Well, as per the use, the Jeep shop coming through, the JP shop rather, coming through in a bind. We didn't want the car sitting out any longer. They don't want to wait for any more parts for the machine. So, called up Gabe. Gabe said, yeah, we'll get it in. Tracy and I knocked it out. Man, look at that. These tires got really good ratings for the street and the track, so um, yeah, it's just nice to go a little bit wider. We went with that staggered look, and uh, I'll definitely keep you guys informed of how they perform. I'm excited. Side note, that burnout was, I mean, go back to the Mishimoto video, much better burnout. I don't know what was going on and you know, we got shut down. I almost don't even want to include that in this video, but I have to because that's what I do. I'm always keeping it real with you. Thanks, Gabe. We're gonna get out of your hair now. Appreciate you getting us in. I'll get them out of here for you. Let's go. All right, I'll drive that. You take Beast or Bell? Well guys, I know you want to see a review on these tires. You're just gonna have to wait because I'm gonna install full tuning from Diablo Sport. And then we'll do a review when I take it for its first drive after the tuning's installed. We'll be doing the unlock PCM and their tuning. I'm, I'm pretty pumped. This is long overdue. So I'm not gonna wait too long to get this done. Probably be in the next video. So stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. <laughs> if you're stopping by for the first time, make sure you smash tap, do something. Ah! to that subscribe button. We love you guys. Ding, ding. We will see you on the next upload. Smash it.
we're only, we're, we're putzing. I'm gonna go down on some private back roads. Whoa! Jesus! <laughs> All right, so um, <laughs> noticeable difference, believe it or not, um, in the 91 tune, and uh, <laughs> that almost fells. Well, we're in track mode too, so track mode even makes it makes it even more snappier. But yeah, there is a noticeable difference just on the 92, 91 tune. I gotta get that 93 tune. I can't wait to see what that feels like. Come on, the car wants to go. I didn't know that you could put used oil and dead batteries over there. What the heck would the Amish do with dead batteries? Uh, they recycle them and get money for it. Oh. That's why you have to pay a core for a battery. Yeah, it's definitely, um, here. Yes. Yeah.